Hey, hi everyone, Kavon here. Today I want to make this quick video because I want to share an awesome Twitter automation tool. Because, you know, when we do building in public, it's awesome that we have a lot of sharings about the behind the scenes and our work, but it's not as uh, not as good if we cannot get people to read it. So growing your audience is actually a big part to this. Um, if, you'd if you have followed my stories a little bit, you know that the way I look at building in public is it's, more, it, it's good if you can use it as a marketing tool. If you want something like accountability, I think uh, a support group or even public lab would be a great place. But if you're talking in public, let's focus on getting you more exposure. So here, I want to talk about why you need an automation tool. The first thing is because if you want to do it on Twitter, you really need to play the Twitter game. Like you cannot be someone who is just like, oh, I, I want people to listen to me, but I don't really like the algorithm of Twitter. You cannot, you have to play their game. So you need to stay active. Number two is our time is so valuable. I know a lot of you, even myself, when I just got started, I thought, hey, maybe I can just check out Twitter every day for 30 minutes and I'll be posting interesting things. But when you are like weeks into the game and you realize you're spending way too much time on Twitter. So I know the awesome creators out there, awesome builders, they have a better system to manage their online presence. And this is what you need as well because your time is so valuable. And the last thing is what I find fascinating, which is sometimes the tools can do things that we cannot. So uh, it's impossible to do it by hand and I'm gonna show you a few things later. So because of these reasons, that's why I, um, even though I originally was like hesitant to spend 20 US dollar per month on this, I eventually, I was convinced, I was sold. So I signed up for it. Um, so I wanna just share it with you. Um, let me just switch my screen here. This is the first time I use OBS to record this video. So I hope this is like <laughs> pretty good. Um, I use a lot of tools before I decided on Hype Fairy. So I've used like Hootsuite. I don't know if you have heard of it. It's pretty popular. It's like a huge company. And I've used it like end of last year to do a bit of like tweeting. You can see I don't really talk a lot like once a day but it has a lot of limitation. Um, for example, you cannot do threat and you cannot do anything complicated. And then I try something like type fully, but it's a very simple threat, like a uh, composition tool, which I don't really need it. Uh, a lot of tools have it, but Hype Fairy is amazing um, in a way that I, I wanna show you a few features. So let me look at my notes, okay. The first thing I want to show you is how you can set up this like schedule for your online presence. Um, you can see that this is this is my schedule. I don't want to post a lot because I feel like <laughs> it's really hard to generate so much content to to like post ten times a day. I, I aim for like like three times a day. Um, for scheduling content, you know? And sometimes I've stuff on my head and I'll just do it. And you can see the little green star here, which is called the evergreen uh, post, which I'm gonna show you in a bit. But overall, I think it's awesome because I'm able to just like make it super consistent to be active on Twitter. So since we're talking about evergreen, so let's jump into it. What is it? I was fascinated by this. So basically, uh, when you're writing your tweets, you have this little star here and you can basically mark some of your tweets or tweets thread evergreen. And what that would do is, if you remember here, I have some evergreen slot, like three throughout the week. And what this system will do is, if I mark that tweet as evergreen, it will just like pull from the database and we retweet it for me. So this is quite amazing because you can see some tweets are really engaging, people love it. Then it's kind of a waste if you just talk about it once. Uh, you wanna bring it up like twice or three times because you have to understand Twitter is like, not every one of your followers can see your posts 
because they're not online at the same time. So bringing it back is important. So let me show you an example. Let's take a look at my wall here. Um, okay, this one. You can see it says you retweeted. And you can see today is April 7th, but this tweet is actually out on March 26th. And you can see this little retweet icon. So basically it means Hype Fairy grab it from the database and retweet it for me. And I probably get like a few more likes over there or even uh, replies. So it's amazing because you can always bring back your high quality things. And if you hear a baby crying, that's my baby girl, three months old. So it's a little fussy sometimes. Uh, okay, back to this. Um, you can mark as evergreen and then unmark it if you feel like, oh, you have used, you have abused this tweet a lot. So, and when you're composing your new tweets, you can just like, oh, okay, um, I'm gonna mark it evergreen when you schedule it, right? Mark it, unmark it. So I love this because this really helped me grow a lot. Um, next is this. So this is the first thing I really like about Hype Fairy. And then I'm going to share the second thing I really like. So here you can see my queue for my upcoming tweets. It's going to line up by the schedule that I set up. And let me show you. Okay, this has a little icon that says follow up tweet. What it means is if I go into edit, you can see events. This setting is saying that, I, th I think there's something wrong with this setting. I'm gonna fix it. But basically the function is, if you get 10 likes of that tweet, please tweet a follow-up post to it. So this is amazing because if you think about it, um, when you tweet something and then 10 people like it, 20 people like it, and it is a good chance for you to push a little further to get them to go to your blog or sign up for a newsletter or in this case it will be public lab you know i was talking about building in public so why don't you check out my private community as well and it comes later when you hit 10 likes which means um the, the 10 people who like your post would get another notification about this new tweet so i think this is quite neat and the key thing is we all need to promote ourselves. Like you can do a lot of great things, but you if you don't keep talking about it, people are not gonna recognize it. So you do have to like work hard for yourself. So this is another thing that I like. It doesn't have to be likes, it can be retweet, and it doesn't have to be 10. I mean, honestly, I have like 2,400 followers and I set it as 10 because like, usually I get like maybe 15, 20 likes. If I set it too high, the follow-up tweets might never get sent. So this is pretty good if you ha want to have like a call to action. Um, but of course, you don't want to overdo it because <laughs> it's gonna be really annoying if you're keeping, keep pushing your followers to read like sign up newsletter, go sign up to your public lab. No, you, you just wanna kind of put it in there maybe uh, one or twice or a, a week. So this is the second thing I really like about it. Um, what else? Actually, those are the two things that I really like. The, the others are really basic, like every tool can do it. But I like Hype Fairy because it, it looks like uh, a small team that really understand Twitter, like how to grow an audience and they're improving their tools. So I wanna show you a few things, but I don't really use them because I just don't think it matters that much. For example, here, analytics. A lot of people care about analytics. To me, I don't really care. I, I never look at this because I believe consistency is more important than analytics. Like if, if you're tweeting five times each day and you're creating good content who cares like how many followers you have who cares how many likes you have that doesn't really matter what matters is just keep doing it so i don't know you have to upgrade to like a premium plan to get in-depth uh analytics but huh i don't need it another thing is rec recurrent post i haven't used this yet but i'm just guessing what it does is 
I can kind of categorize my tweets into different categories, like building in public, online interactions, and I can set different times of the week to just grab tweets from that bucket and share it. So I don't really know how to use this, honestly. Why would you like tweet certain category at a certain point of time? I, I don't get it, but anyway, I just wanna show you. So that's pretty much it. I wanna keep this as short as possible, but you know, you get my message. The key thing here is when you're building in public, you need a bigger and bigger audience and you need to work hard for it. Um, yeah, so you can see here, uh, I'm gonna put uh, an affiliate link below because I, I'm new to this. So if you feel like supporting some of my free content, you can use my link, but you can see I actually haven't earned anything from that program. And this video is not about like affiliate. This, prog uh, this video is really me sharing the importance of growing a bigger audience because when you see your followers count, when you see more engagement going up, you feel so much better about your building in public. So that's another confidence boost. So I think that's it for today. Uh, this video is kind of like raw. I'm not gonna edit it. That's why I'm using OBS, but let me know if you like it. Let me know what you think about this kind of video. I just wanna give a lot of value to the community. So see you next time. Bye-bye.